Good morning, students. I am Pradeep Bhattakur, sir. Today, in our class 10 English, we are doing revision work of the lesson, A Letter to God by G.L. Fuentes. The lesson had earlier been done by your teacher in school. <clears throat> First of all, let me give you a summary of the lesson. This lesson revolves around the character Lancho, who is a farmer. Lancho lived in a mountainous region. His house was on top of a hill. As a farmer, he had a field of ripe corn. The flowers on the corn plants promised a good harvest. But still, a downpour or a shower was needed. Lancho was looking at the sky expecting some rain to fall. It did rain. Big drops of rain began to fall. Lancho called these raindrops new coins. He called the big raindrops ten cent pieces and the little drops five cent pieces. But suddenly the situation became bad when along with the rain very large hailstones began to fall. They looked like new silver coins. The hailstones totally destroyed the corn. Lancho became very sad. This year he would have no corn. His hard work in the fields had gone in vain. But Lancho along with his family had one hope. Help from God. Lancho was fully confident that God would come to his help and no one would die of hunger. He was a hard-working farmer but he also knew how to write. So, out of deep faith in God, Lancho wrote a letter to God. He asked for help from God so that he won't have to go hungry. He prayed God to give him a hundred pesos. He will use the money to sow his field again and also buy food till the next harvest. <clears throat> Lancho addressed the letter to God. He went to the post office in town, placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox. One is on seeing the letter, the postman was amused. He went to the postmaster and showed him the letter to God. The postmaster, who was a friendly and 
pleasant person laughed, <coughs> but he was deeply impressed by Lancho's fate in God. In order not to shake Lancho's fate in God, the postmaster decided to answer the letter by performing an act of charity. He collected money from his employees and his friends apart from donating a part of his salary. When Lancho came to the post office the following Sunday to inquire if there was a letter for him, the postman handed him an envelope with the money inside it. On the envelope was written the signature God. But inside the envelope there were only 70 pesos. Lancho became angry after counting the money. He wrote another letter to God asking for the balance amount of 30 pesos. He affixed one stamp on the envelope and dropped it into the mailbox. The postmaster once again opened Lancho's letter. In the letter was written Lancho's acknowledgement of receiving 70 pesos. He asked for the remaining 30 pesos as he badly needed the amount. But he also pleaded to God not to send the amount by mail because he thought that the post office employees were a bunch of crooks. Now, let us see some questions from previous year's board exams question papers. 2015 question paper number one question choose the correct answer from the alternatives given I need a hundred pesos now you will have to choose the correct answer from the given alternatives. The given alternatives are currency of India, Spain or Latin America. Now this piece which country's currency is it? Answer currency of Latin America. This is for one marks. Now the second question. What happened to Lancho's field fields after the hailstorm? For one mark. Answer. The hailstorm completely destroyed the corn in Lancho's fields with the flowers gone from the plants. The third question, there is a quotation, 
from the lesson these aren't raindrops falling from the sky they are new coins now the question that has been asked is why did lancho consider the raindrops as new coins this is for two marks the answer is lancho's cornfields needed a downpour or a shower for a good harvest good harvest meant more profit after selling the corn therefore lancho considered the big rain drops as 10 cent pieces and the little drops as 5 cent pieces now 2016 question paper number one where was lancho's home situated for one mark answer lancho's home was situated on the crest of a low hill question number two again there is a quotation from the lesson but don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks the question is what made lancho think that the post office employees were a bunch of crooks this is for two marks answer is lancho believed that God had actually sent him hundred pesos in reply to his letter but he suspected 30 pesos were unjustly taken by the post office employees leaving him with 70 pesos only therefore he thought the employees were a bunch of crooks <coughs> now 2017 question paper the first question there is a quotation again from the lesson all through the night lancho thought only of his one hope the question is what was lancho's only one hope for one mark answer lancho's only one hope was the help of God whose eyes saw everything the second question what did the postmaster do after he had received lancho's letter this is for two marks answer after receiving lancho's letter the postmaster answered the letter by performing an act of charity 
he collected money from his employees and several friends and added to it a part of his salary he put this money in an envelope addressed to lencho with the signature of god on it now 2018 question paper first question what did lencho do throughout the morning what did he see in the northeast two questions are there therefore marks are 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 the answer is throughout the morning lencho looked at the sky towards the northeast in the northeast lencho saw huge mountains of clouds approaching the second question lancho's soul was filled with sadness why two marks answer lancho's soul was filled with sadness because all the corn in his corn field was destroyed by a very large by very large hailstones the flowers were gone from the plants his hard work had come to nothing and he and his family would have to go hungry that year without any help rest of the things are in the second audio